Now there is a thing called hardware bottleneck which can impact performance of your AutoCAD laptop even if you seemingly have the best hardware out there. I'll explain what that bottleneck is and how to avoid that but first let's answer the question you never asked and the question is well which is the most important hardware in AutoCAD laptop. And the answer is processor. Well, AutoCAD is a single threaded software, which means it relies more on faster processing the speed of a single core rather than having multiple cores. That does not mean multi core processor is straight up bad for AutoCAD. In fact, you should go for at least a four core processor and eight core for best results. The reason is simple. You obviously don't just run AutoCAD and there are several other things like Adobe Reader, Google Chrome for that YouTube video you've been playing in the background and other background softwares as well. Now these extra applications can take advantage of multiple cores leaving you with better processing speed for AutoCAD. So multiple cores are good. But along with a good processor, we also need a fairly optimized set of other hardware like RAM, SSD, graphics card and quite a lot more. Now further into the video, I'll share the exact specifications of these hardwares as well and also about the best practices for selecting these hardware specifications. I'll also share a list of best laptops based on these recommendations. So stay tuned till the end of this video if you don't want to waste your money on a laptop that just doesn't work for AutoCAD. But first, let's address the main thing here, which I mentioned in the beginning of this video, and that main thing is hardware bottleneck. If you have the best processor out there, but an abysmal RAM or SSD, then your processor will stay idle for most of the time when RAM is processing data slowly. Now, it's kind of like having a restaurant full of people ordering different meals, and you have a really fast team of chefs who can deliver every order in time, but the waiters are very slow. They are always delaying and the delivery of cooked meal to the customers is delayed. Not just that, and they are even bringing new orders quite slowly to the kitchen. So despite the best team of chefs out there, the customers are not served in time. The same thing happens when you use the best processor, which in this case is chefs, with single core clock speed but slow RAM or insufficient RAM memory, which is the waiters, well, then the data is not delivered fast enough to the processor. So to avoid this choke point or bottleneck, you should select a laptop for AutoCAD which has components that play along really well with each other. And when it comes to exact specifications of a processor, you should select a laptop with at least 3 GHz of base clock speed with latest CPU architecture. Now CPU architecture is quite important as it significantly impacts the performance. And do select processors that can be overclocked. As an example, CPU with names ending in K or X can be overclocked. Like i7-8700K can be overclocked and i7-12800H cannot be overclocked. All the Ryzen processors can be overclocked. Now, let's see what you should look for in a RAM. In general, a 16 GB of RAM should be the bare minimum for AutoCAD, though it can run even with 8 GB RAM but just don't go with 8 GB or God forbid less than that. It's not going to cut for AutoCAD. Also, some modern laptops are coming with soldered RAMs and they're not upgradable. So do check if RAM is upgradable and there are empty slots in the laptop for later. Now RAM these days are quite inexpensive and you can also purchase laptops with just 8 GB of RAM and later upgrade it to 16 GB or more while if you have empty slots in your laptop. Now a common mistake is to assume more RAM will automatically make your computer run really fast. Well that is incorrect. If you have 32 GB of RAM installed but you are only using 9 GB of RAM for your AutoCAD drawing, your computer will perform as if you have about 12 or 16 GB of RAM installed because the rest of the space is empty. It's unutilized. So don't install 64 or 128 GB of RAM if you don't need it. Upgrade the RAM as and when needed. One of the simple methods of checking if you need more RAM or not is to look at the task manager. So in the task manager, if you see that your RAM is being utilized, well, almost 80 to 100%, then that's the clear indication that you need to upgrade your RAM. And the same goes for other, well, components. So if you see that there is high utilization of a certain component like processor or maybe SSDs or hard disk, that's 
a clear indication that you need to upgrade that particular component. Now, more RAM simply means you have more breathing space to work on bigger data sets before Windows begin to use the virtual memory, which is, by the way, a fancy way of saying Windows will use your SSD for doing RAM-related tasks, and these SSDs are slower when you compare it with RAM. So the laptop performance will take a massive hit. Now, another important feature of RAM is the data speed, which is usually measured in megahertz. Now, this is the rate at which data is transferred between RAM and processor. As you can expect, higher speed is better. But as AutoCAD is not a memory hog, getting a very high speed RAM may not significantly improve the performance. And anything beyond 32 megahertz, well, it's generally not worth it. So that was about RAM. Now, let's talk about graphics card. As mentioned previously, AutoCAD being a single core application very much depends on the processor for its performance, but there are areas where it uses GPU or the graphics card as well. Now, especially in 3D rendering and when working with designs containing complex 3D models, a dedicated GPU will give you a significant improvement in performance. Now, as far as integrated graphics card is concerned, well, I'll recommend you stay away from it. If your work needs complex 3D modeling and rendering, don't go for any integrated graphics card laptop. Actually, no matter what your work is, just to stay away from integrated graphics card. Okay, an Autodesk certified graphics card like NVIDIA Quadro will play well with AutoCAD and I'd recommend a minimum of 4 GB of VRAM with 106 gigabyte per second bandwidth and DirectX 12 or whatever is the latest compliance. Now, gaming graphics card are not always best for AutoCAD, though this fact is also debatable, which I might cover in another video. And in some situations, gaming cards have, well, certainly outperformed the professional level cards, but it's for another video. Just ensure for now that your graphics card supports DirectX. All right, in a nutshell, for best performance, you should select a graphics card that is tested with AutoCAD and vetted by Autodesk themselves. I've added a list of AutoCAD certified graphics card in the description down below. To sum it all up, if your work involves working with 2D drawings, then I'd recommend investing in an entry-level GPU rather than spending a ton of money on high-end GPUs. And if your work involves specialized 3D work, graphics, and rendering work, then you can go with a professional GPU. Finally, let's talk about hard drive and SSD. Let me start this with a very simple note. Never go with hard disk drive, HDD for boot drive, which is essentially the C drive where you install your operating system. So always select an SSD for your boot drive for the best performance. Now you can go with PCIe M.2 NVMe SSD with minimum of 250 gigabyte of memory, but ideally 500 GB should be the bare minimum that you should select. I made this mistake of starting with 250 GB SSD in one of my laptops and soon I realized that I need to upgrade that space or I just need to keep deleting data frequently from my C drive. So anything over 500 GB is good. So that is a general recommendation about the key components of laptops for AutoCAD. But there is a thing that people often overlook and that is cooling vents. Make sure your laptop has sufficient cooling vents, especially on the sides and not on the bottom. Of course, if cooling vents are at the bottom, it's really good, but the side cooling vents are important. These cooling vents on the side and in the back of the laptop are really very efficient at removing heat from your laptop. Performance of your laptop will suffer if it heats up. So make sure that the cooling vent is completely open. Don't block it. And if it's blocked, just clean it or just unblock it. and it will give a significant boost in the performance of your software. After following these recommendations, now you have the best laptop for AutoCAD. I've also done the complete heavy lifting for you and created a list of best AutoCAD laptops based on these recommendations. The list is mentioned in the description of this video and also in the pinned comment. This list of best AutoCAD laptops is updated every month. So the recommendations are always up to date. Let me know which laptop you are using for AutoCAD by simply adding a comment down below and also let me know which topic you want me to cover in the next video. I'll see you soon with another one.